You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Peace and love. Peace and love. Welcome back to www.freeintheminds.com. We are back live in effect once again. Another day above ground, man. Always thankful for that, man. Living the life we love and loving the life in which we live, man. Another day, y'all. Uh, a lot of happenings towards the end of this 2019, so-called 2019, going into so-called 2020, clearer vision, sharp thoughts, things coming into manifestation, life experiences, you know what I'm saying, from our minds into our lives, as they do every day as they do all the time, you know, just quicker speeds, picking it up, you know, and just manifesting, man, manifesting self, manifesting self. What am I saying? Being yourself, living the life you love and loving the life you live, man, creating a life in which you live. And most importantly, appreciating the life that you are living, have lived to this point and choosing a path and charting that path moving forward to create an even better experience, a more potent life experience, a more fruitful life experience. Looking at this thing now, we've been going for a while now, and we're just talking about life, living the life journey. You've been going for a while now, long enough to be able to look at this thing and size things up and pick and choose to the best of your ability for what's best for your own self. You know what I mean? Like we all are. And not everybody is necessarily consciously making these choices or decisions. You know, a lot of times we just orbiting our way through life, you know, and so I'm just blowing in the wind, man, taking it as it goes and seeing what happens as it happens, you know, observing. However, either way you choose, whichever life you choose, whether that of the bypasser just going along down the stream or that of the navigator and just charting out your course, either way in which you go, man, observation is key. Observation, awareness, knowledge, knowing before we're going and knowing and aware of the courses that are moving as we're moving through them, as we're moving through them. So as we're moving into this new year and during this time right now of the new moon, a lot of refreshing and a lot of new births and not a new, a lot of new ideas coming into mind, a lot of new aspirations coming into mind, a lot of end of the old cycles, rebirth of a new, creating new, new visions, new ideas, new aspirations, new, just newness, as well as a renewing is of what was and what has been nurtured over time and taken care of over time. And now we're starting to see clearly the values of these things and how they added life to our life and gave a structure and foundation to the places where we were feeling unstable throughout the years, you know? Those core places being family, those core places and the things being love, truth, the wisdom and the jewels that has carried you through. Thank God for the truth. The truth shall set you free. Like imagine if we lived in a world full of lies, like we do live in a world full of lies, but imagine if we believed the lies our own selves. Imagine when we believed the lies our own selves and our own selves and the lies in which we were living when we were believing the lies. Before we started seeing this truth, recognizing the truth for our own self, from our own self, within our own self, as our own selves, and the life and all the beauty that has come from that since those moments, since those points, since those lessons, and each lesson that comes for that matter. It's a blessing. It's fruit. It's life to the tree. It's oxygen to the soul. <sighs> it's love to the being, man, to the spirit. So we just be thankful, man. Every time the truth is spoken, it's like, and wisdom is being spoken. It's just like rain coming down and just cleansing ourselves today. So today I'm thinking like what we're doing moving forward into this Sketch we're about to go into today is going to be dealing with like some cleansing, some rain, some water, some freshness, some renewedness, man. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this stuff. You know what I mean? This is another episode of The Art of Peace, you know, and um, we'll be doing more. You know, we will be doing more. I know I always say that. <laughs> That's why I can't give any timelines. You know what I mean? But we are, you know, moving in that direction, in that direction, you know, as we've been working in the schools and educating, you know what I mean? Helping the youth. You know how that is. It's a very tough time in the world right now. Everybody going through everything and everything then lands on the youth, you know, as a thing. Gravity from the sky hits the earth, the earth, and then it goes deeper into the earth. You know what I mean? The youth just coming up from those soils. Everything that's in that soil is hitting them as well as everything that's just coming down off of us, bouncing off of us, hitting the earth. It's landing right on them, man. And if we're not there to 
take care of them, wash them up, clean them up and let them know what's hitting them. You know what I mean? Or even just shelter them from the rain. They're going to be dealing with a lot of soil, a lot of dirt, going through a lot of stuff, a lot of muck and not understanding none of it. So they're just going through blind, no knowledge of self, no understanding of anything, man. So I understand now why the lessons need to be pushed and taught to the youth, man. The lessons of truth, the lessons of love, the lessons of self, knowledge of self, understanding who you are and your journey through this thing. At what point in the story were you born? At what point in the story did you come in? What scene are we in now? How? What is your role in this scene? And establish your role and carry that role out. Carry that role out. So we have to be mindful in the images in which we present to the youth and to all those around who are bystanders watching as well as partakers partaking in the feast, partaking in the slaughter, partaking in any aspect of this gamut we call the life experience, you know what I mean? Be conscious and mindful of the vibration in which you're radiating and the light in which you're manifesting, aka be conscious and mindful of who you are and what you're doing at all times and put forth integrity, values, Morality, represent it, just exemplify it to the best of your ability. We're not always going to be up on top, you know what I mean? Some days we're going to be hard, it's going to be tough. Some days our words might come off like thunder, sharp and piercing. But be there also to be there to bring out the sun the next day or after the storm or after the thunder and the rain, be there also and bring out the light and the warmth and the calm, the okayness, everything is clear, it's all right. It was a necessity for the regeneration of the roots, the regeneration of all that is beneath the surface, deep within self, it was necessary. So we take these jewels, we take these lessons and we make them a part of ourselves to make and improve and better ourselves and elevate ourselves. So this is life we're in. This is the life we live. It's a daily journey, the journey of self, the journey to do the right thing, the journey to feel the right thing, to even know what the right thing is to do, to always continue to search out for what the right thing is, to always search out rightness. Righteousness, it's a never ending journey. It's forever infinite. In any direction in which you travel, in which you pursue or which you chase and anything in which you Lift up and any stone you unturn, there are many other stones to be unturned, always. So the search is infinite. So can we satisfy ourselves in this search? Maybe, maybe not. But one thing we do as human beings in this life itself, we do strive for that light. We do try to satisfy ourselves in that warmth, in that light. So that being said, Let's go right on in here. Let's go right on in. So today's tools, what we're going to be using is the super black ink. The super black ink. Boom, boom, boom. Take a look at that, you know. And then the nice brush. The brush. And this brush, the Japanese brush. Now, one of my friends down at the art store hooked me up with this. He said, Odalo, you want to get used to these and start writing and drawing with these like you would write and draw with a pen and pencil. Get comfortable like that. And I started doing that and over the time I've been working with this, you know what I'm saying, for a few months now. And I've noticed a great enhancement in my drawing, my writing, as well as just in my thinking, in my mind. The ways of looking at things, you know what I mean? At the same time, it does something to the spirit, man. It takes it back to the times in which you see like those old you know, I can't remember what they're called, man. They're they're like hieroglyphs, but they're like the, the the Japanese lettering. It's like calligraphy, and um, it's beautiful, very spiritual, and very martial. It's a uh, martial artist. A lot of martial artists would do calligraphy and a lot of the writing and stuff, and they would use big, big brushes, big brushes, even rakes and stuff like this. It was a Zen meditation as well as like it would just do something to the spirit. I don't know. Maybe it's something similar to what we're doing here. Who knows? But there's something to get into and check out, though. But art and martial arts, very hand in hand, man, just for like art and science and art and art and mathematics and science and mathematics and as well as with spirituality for that matter. It's all connected, man, just like us. We're all connected. So all things are connected. Mm. Pumpkin spice coffee with the house blend from your local quick trip. <laughs> so let's get on in here. So yeah, 
you know, that's what's been going on with me, man. Just been going through here, working with the youth, man, going through there. It's a tough world out there, y'all. Very tough world. I ain't telling y'all nothing y'all don't know, though. Nothing y'all don't know. It's, um, it's just what it is, man. It's just what it is right about now in these times that we're in. You know, it's just what it is. Now here, we're just going to come on in. It's going to be a something just quick and easy, man, because we're just coming back into the new year. You know what I mean? I don't want to go too heavy, too long, too soon, too fast, you know, because this right here is not about attention, man. I've been learning to get really into self, man, settle in self, satisfying and happy in just the day-to-day -day life experience. It's very tough. It's very hard out in the world. I'm not telling you guys like nothing. Y'all don't know. Like I said, man, I know it's very tough times right now for, you know, the battle is an internal internal battle. It's really uh, like my friend and my, we were talking last night, watching that Tony Harrison and Charlo fight. It's uh, principalities, you know. You don't want to go out here doing too much, showboating, shining too much, you know what I mean? Talking too wild. Just stick to the task, man. Do the job. Handle your business, you know, and then move forward. But, you know, the creator, the most high, Jah, Allah, the Lord, creator, God, universal source, life force, however you identify this, it's going to bless you. It's going to seek you out as you seek it out. As it says, take one step towards me, two steps towards you. These things are truth, man. It's, it, it's man, just do the job. Do the process, work the process, stay true to it, stay loyal, stay focused, stay loyal, stay focused, and just stay true. Let these things work themselves out. And you just do your job and play your role and establish your role, like we were saying. Know your job, know your role, know your position, know what part in the movie, in this scene, in which you came, this story. It's a long one that started long before you've been. It's going to be going long, long after you're here. So you have to just establish your role early. As of now. And then you go on in and make a way for yourself. Then that way you can make a way for others. Because, man, no one out here makes it alone. We're all in this thing together. And this piece here already, it's like, I'm just going to start experimenting with this now because I'm already starting to see. I'm not necessarily really feeling where it's going, where it was at, but sometimes that's how it is, man. A lot of times it's like you got to work with what you get. You have an idea that you might want to go through a feeling that you want to go and start to touch base with, but it doesn't necessarily always pan out that way. So now we're going to flip it up into something that you can dig. You know what I mean? So this one here, let's go like this. Yeah. Going through the day-to-day -day life experiences though. Back to that. It's um you know, you do what you gotta do. Um Yeah, man. Staying focused, knowledge and the plan, knowing what you got to do and just doing what you got to do. Knowing what you got to do and just doing what you got to do. Because, um, you know, the universe, creator, life force, whatever you identify, however you identify, it's, um, it's going to appoint to the position, the best knower, the best doer, the best ability. And as long as you've been doing the work, preparing yourself, the job is yours. The task is yours. The world is yours. But if you have been neglecting the task at hand, there will be another king, another queen, another ruler put in position to take the role in which was given to you to handle that for somebody else that has been preparing themselves for the task and stay true to it. Because at some point, you know, the student does surpass the teacher, whether that's, you know, what I'm saying before or after death. You know, like the, the, the student doesn't have to take it further than the teacher to surpass the teacher either. 
The teacher could slip and fall back. The teacher could just pass on and the, the student is the only one left to carry on the lessons. And they just got to carry it on to the best of their ability. And however it survives, that's how it survives. And that's their capacity to the ability and which the, the extent to which it survives. Like a lot of black history is this way. A lot of history in itself is this way, period, because it's always told through the eyes of the victor. So the person who loses, you think about the generations, you think about the even previous civilizations or the times and lives that have existed long before our timeline of recorded history. Those that were recorded and those that were remembered, as well as those that were forgotten and never even acknowledged to begin with. So... At some point, one surpasses the other. Whether by will or by way, whether it's by length and mighty or whether it's just by time. So at the end of the time, what were you here for? Why were you here? What was your role? What did you establish? What did you create? You know, we all got to create something. We all got to do something. We all got to do something. Now I'm starting to like where this is coming off. She's this teacher. This is a school teacher here. She's been through it a lot. Needs to calm down. Needs a break. You know, it's, um, it's a tough place. Maybe she's in the classroom. Maybe she's in the classroom. That's the little corner back there. And you know how they be having them bricks brick walls like kind of like those brick walls when you're like remember back in school elementary school you'd be walking to the gym gym class and those brick walls along the wall that I think I go big solid long bricks brick walls sometimes they'll be like tiled you know what I mean sometimes they tile it's one of those brick walls oh not here Maybe here, it's like, you know, walking down the hall. Is she walking down the hall? Where is she going? Where is she at? That's a big question. Where is she at? Maybe this is, uh, maybe this is one of those walkways to the doorway, right? You know? No, uh, nothing like this. Mm-hmm. Into the classroom, maybe. <laughs> so, um, you know, art takes your place so many different places at one time. You'll be like, that's crazy. So many places at one time. And it's just one of them desks. Another one of them desks. Maybe not. not. Maybe this be like a table at the front when they come in. back here and you got that radiator back there you know how they always have like a radiator the back of the class the radiator And then on top of that, you got the windows. Mm hmm Bang. So now, with that, Come on in. Boom, 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 right? So you got the class door. I'm just gonna set this to the side for a second and you come back in later with it. This is just laying little foundations, just having fun. And a lot of this stuff, I like to keep it just rough, man, rugged and raw. A lot of my artists, y'all know, those are familiar with a lot of my stuff. It has like that sketchy look. I love sketch, man. I'm a fan of sketch art. 
I was always been a fan of like pencil test animation, like the animation before it had any color, before it got the ink and solidified in, just those raw pencil tests. I always loved those the most, man. Seeing animations, pencil tests, seeing stuff. I just love rough stuff, man. I just love stuff rough, rugged and raw. So now we're gonna go into some of this Faber-Castell as well as the uh, Expressionist um, oil pastels. And these are oil pastels. These be oil pastels. Like she's in school, she's working, she's a hard worker, but she still dreams of getting away. Like she doesn't want to necessarily be there all day. She has dreams. But like we were talking about, this is um, still dealing with water in the rain. So we're just coming, come on with this water in this rain because she still has visions of raindrops falling on her head. Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed. Nothing seems to fit. Those raindrops keep falling on my head. They keep falling. So I just did me some talking to the sun. And I told him that I didn't like the way he got things done. Nothing seems to fit. He's sleeping on the job. That's what it was. Sleeping on the job. Those Raindrops keep falling on my head, they keep falling. So see I'm saying these are just the little raindrops as they're coming down, you know, the little raindrops coming down. So I just did need some talking to the sun. And I said I didn't like the way he got things done. He's sleeping on the job. Those raindrops keep falling on my head, they keep falling. So we're going to go this route now. Come around with this brown round. But she still has visions. You know what I'm saying? Written on the walls. Her visions are still written on the walls, written in history, written in time. You know? You know, you can know how you can be in one place at one time and still be thinking about something else. You know what I'm saying? Written on the walls, man. Wherever you're at, you know. I had this idea, like, you know, imagine walls can talk. I had this idea, like, you know, imagine walls can talk. Imagine everything that you thought was recorded on the wall somewhere, man. Or everything you thought was recorded somewhere in that space where you thought it. You know what I mean? So when you can go back, like sometimes I was thinking of something. Or I lost something, I was trying to backtrack and find something. I go back to that place where I, I remember that last thought was at and try to remember. Try to remember and try to recall, man. Sometimes it works. The mind is sometimes thing. Uh, reminds me of a song by Hugh Masekela. A person is a sometimes thing, you know? Um. That's that, you know, and it, this, that's where we're going there. So and now over here, you just got uh, on that door, that doorway, you know, you got that doorway, 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 doorway. Now on top of that, you still got the little, you got your desk back here. Desk back there. And then on top of that desk, you still got your chair. Got your chair. Had a desk here too also the chair. Oops, I'm back chair. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm back there. Also, you still have, that's where these come in. You also still have that radiator. You know what I mean? That radiator. Remember that radiator back there? Bring that in gray. Uh-huh. Uh. And on top of that, you got your windows. So the windows are gonna come with this type of uh, and they come with this blue on the outside back there. Out the window, a little bit of yellow. And then locking it in there, just being a part of a wall and all, you know. Um, no, we already got gray. Let's just make that wall, because sometimes, like, you know how they be blocking kids. Sometimes <laughs> locking them in. 
the wall will be like a like a slate blue <laughs> like a slate light blue like a white slate blue a weird color a very weird color but we're gonna make this uh uh that's also four uh mm -hmm. so instead of having that slate blue mm -hmm. gold on that radiator maybe certain areas of that right here. So now that wall will have it like a pinkish peach. And then um, the wall in the back back there will be though that slatish blue type of color. Here we go. There we go. Now, with that laid in place, let's even go like this because Purple Mountains. She's still a teacher and an educator, a hard worker. You know what I mean? She does what she does, man, because she does it. And that's why she does it, because she does it. She does it because she does it, and she does it because she loves it. And um, if we're going to do anything in this life, we should do it because we love it, right? I mean, what else is the point? Sometimes we do it because we have to. We don't necessarily love everything we have to do. That's true. So I guess that's the point there, too. Point taken. Lips. Like I said, man. I just like fun stuff. And then sometimes when you're just doing stuff, man, don't have to necessarily always worry about being professional, man, and making it look all sweet. Because sometimes it's not even about all that. And then sometimes you find that sweetness in the process of the chaos, like most things, you know. Chaos. Starting chaos. Order out of chaos. All that goodness. Now, on this part here, this is where I want to really play with it. Because I like stuff like this here. We're about to go here with it. I just like kind of like playing with colors, right? Like you got... So it's kind of like, kind of brings her to a point of like, it's really happening, you know, it's really happening. And then we'll play with this purple because she likes purple, one of her favorite colors. Like a lot of us, right? How could you not like purple? So let's go here. Now you come back on top with some fun stuff. After you laid that down, you come back on top with your ink again. And then you just play with your ink a little bit more. But you just go through it. And you just come back on top. Oh, there he is. Just 
cleaning it up. back on top so you see where we're going but yeah man just basically coming into this new year this new same phase time era period of recorded history be mindful of which we're bringing mindful of the direction in which we're going and try to always keep it moving in a positive because people are watching man and, you know, this is the time we have, man. The time is now, man. This is the time we have right now, man. And you really want to just make the most and the best of your time while we can, while we're here. Nothing's promised. 89,000 on average transition in their sleep each night. So, you know, being mindful of these things allows us to appreciate where we're really happening and where we're really at right now. Because... Any moment this show could be over, man. And I'm just talking about our lives. You know, a very precious thing. A very precious thing. I know it's this time of year where we start to look at it and appreciate it a little bit more. And, you know, but take into account that thing all year round. And take into account your daily actions, man. We got to really start doing better out here, y'all. We got to really start doing better. And this is where she's just in the rain, soaking it up. Hair just gets to hang. Very well-deserved woman. Because everything happens so quick, you know. Take those journeys, take those trips, go those places that you see. You always aspire to. Set them up if you can. And if not, don't even trip, man. Just pick up a book and read, you know, and appreciate the things that you do get to see. Because, man, everywhere you're at, you're seeing something somebody else hasn't got a chance to see or nowhere to be able to see it. They're somewhere else. Catching something else, seeing something else, talking about, man, I hope, okay, maybe one day I get to visit there, or maybe one day I get to see the same place where you're already at, you know, so just keep that in mind, too. Your place of home and the, or place where you feel like you're bored at and stuff like that is somebody else's paradise, man. Somebody else would come there to get away from where they're at already. Straight up, man. That's why we get so many tourists and visitors coming into places in the middle of nowhere, you know. It's, um, there's a reason. There's a reason, and right now her reasoning is she has to keep her stuff together, you know? She is kind of on that uh, table of, uh, now this year makes you kind of want to do somewhat of a Reiki symbol. Um, I'm not gonna go too far crazy with that, but we will put a couple up in there because she needs that healing. All teachers need healing, all educators, add honors, you know what I'm saying? And teachers aren't necessarily just only in schools, man, or brick and mortar schools, you know? The universe is the first university out here in this universe, just living, just straight up living. One plus one equals few, and one plus one equals some. Because sometimes that one is two. Sometimes that one is a few. Or more. Plus, you know, one person and another person come together and they can create a whole family, a huge family. Or them two come, come together and annihilate each other. 
So we might as well put a zero too, because I mean, or a negative, you know what I mean? Because it can be a plus or a negative, you know what I'm saying? Understanding could bring, you know, a love or a hate or love or an appreciation for something, but there'll be a certain level of acceptance there in that understanding. Like a person could see something and be like, okay, I understand that, but I just don't get down with that. My, I wouldn't put that into my world, but you know, I guess so. That's where they're at, you know, or I guess that's where it's at, but I wouldn't add on that, you know, into my world. But then and also a person with no understanding can look at something and be like, yo, I want that. And then it comes in add into their life and be the worst thing that ever happened to them. So it's like, understanding can bring on a love or a hate for something you know what i'm saying but a misunderstanding is definitely going to bring about a, um a more misunderstanding man you know you might even think you got an understanding on it but if you didn't understand what you were going into when you were going into it or have even a base to understand it from then what you think you understand what you think you know ain't really what it appears to be man you're gonna have to do a lot more digging a lot more experience and a lot more research you know and um that's we're just doing the work living life, t taking your time, going through the process, creating anything valuable takes time, you know? So and this woman just needs her time to get that break. So, and this is basic mathematics, math, M-A-T-H, math. Mm-hmm. So she needs that trip, as we can see, you know? Don't get that there. Uh, uh. desks. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe you have a couple shorties back here in the desks. A couple kids back there. Here. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. She got her hand out. Uh. And she's ready. Uh. With her pen in hand and a piece of paper. This student is ready. Ready for class. This other student here too also. This dude, he's ready too. He has a question also. He's like, hey, teach, I, want, I got a question too. When is this class starting? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. And his feet is here. Uh, 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 uh. He's ready. Let's go, teach. He's like, let's go, teach. She's just out there in the hall getting her last ones. Getting her last ones. And she's out there in the rain, you know what I mean? And then maybe. There's a man there walking up. He has long hair too. And beard. And he's trying to bring some water in hand. both just catching rain while the sun is out radiating lovely lovely leverly <laughs> and the birds are out flying in the rain so it's like a majestic type of day it's raining the sun is out the sky is blue water is wet sky isn't always blue. In fact, it's the atmosphere that makes it appear to be so. It's really black out there, right? Darkness, right? Appearingly, appearingly, the black light. Dark matter. A lot of birds out in this rain. She's there. there bang classes in session another kid over there so yeah man this is life just taking your time 
charting it through, finding what it is that brings you a peace of mind, man. As you get through, man, to add on, man, working towards a bigger vision, better vision, bigger picture. You know what I mean? And there's, you know, there is a bigger picture here in this life, in this world, you know what I'm saying? That we're still trying to get to, still working towards each day. And as we continue to work towards it, you know, I'm going to put one more here. Might as well put that test there, right? Why not? So, so man, yeah, the bigger picture, man, that we're still trying to get to, man, I'm sure that we're all still trying to get to. So I just encourage everybody, man, to continue the pursuit of self, man. Continue the pursuit of truth, man. Continue the pursuit of, man, love, peace, happiness, man. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. Freedom, justice, and equality for every man, woman, and child. You know, let's let's get this thing right. Let's get this ship righted. Get this ship righted, right? And then this person is ready, too. Uh, it's going to be on here, too, on. She's ready. She's like, let's go teach. Let's go. We're ready. We're ready. We all have questions. We're ready to get going. She's thinking about classes. At the same time, she's thinking about math. She's thinking about healing. She's thinking about herself, life. You know what I'm saying? The links that she needs to do, you know. However, she's got love all over her heart and mind, man. Love is all on her mind. She's got love all on her mind. Love is all on her mind, man. Love is on her mind. And she loves truth. That's why she's a teacher. That's why she got into teaching. Because she loves truth. Love. Truth. Mm hmm Bang. And that's her life, man. She'd wear those two jewels on her heart and her mind day and night that's what she got into this thing for that's why she continues to do it still to this day and some may say hey Dalo is that you maybe aspects of it is maybe absolutely aspects of it is Adding on, nurturing, speaking truths, reaching out. So yeah, man, this is it, man. This is the life we're in, you know, and this is the life that we live in. This is a life in which we love, man. It's a life of creativity. It's a life of spirituality. It's a life of freedom, justice, and equality. It's a life of forever striving, man, for something better, a better vision, a better idea, you know, or just a better place and space within yourself as well as around yourself, you know what I mean? Just ultimately elevating. And not necessarily materialistically, you know what I'm saying? But just like in your way of life, in your lifestyle, inside and out, man. It's like how you feel inside and the things you feel inside is very important, man. Clarity within and having a clear relationship with yourself, man, is very key to self-development and self-discovery and self-elaboration, man. Elaborating yourself, expanding yourself and explaining and expressing yourself in this world, you know. It's very key and it's very heavy, man. Art is definitely a jewel which helps one to center ground reflect and refine and just be at peace man meditation in itself just sitting down doing a drawing man so i definitely encourage anyone to do those any given chance they get once again welcome again thank you again for tuning in to the art of peace man it is another lovely day hope you enjoy this day hope you enjoyed this episode man we will be back with more and for more man blessings and love to you all this new year this new season this new time happy holidays to all of those out here celebrating the solstice celebrating the christmas holidays the new years the all of the fancy frenzies and all this good stuff you know what i'm saying hanukkah and all that good stuff kwanzaa everything man add it on man everything everything peace and love to every last one of you man wish you nothing but love and light Continue to check us out, man. Check us out, www.freeingtheminds.com for more. We have more animations coming up. We got more short films coming up. We just got a new little 
video camera stuff. So we're going to be shooting a lot more. You know what I mean? So, uh, yes, it's going to be a good, interesting 2020 moving forward. You know what I mean? Moving forward. I feel a lot more grounded and solid in myself, a lot more relaxed in my way of beingness in my life. You know what I mean? As stressed as it is, as crazy as it gets sometimes, I'm just like so comfortable with self now and in self now and with the relationship with myself, like and my ups and downs and my highs and my lows and my sporadic misses of myself. It's like I'm just so in tune with myself now. I mean, it's still more tuning and tightening up to do by very much. Like I said, it's infinite. But the um, where we're at in self, it's just, I'm very happy, man. I'm very thankful. Very, very, very thankful, man. For all my teachers, all my enlighteners, every moment, everything, man, every one of you tuning in, every one of you tuning in now, every one of you tuning in later in the future, whenever you tune in, whether I'm here or gone, long gone, it does not matter. I give thanks for you. Thank you. Wish you nothing but love, light, peace, positivity, prosperity, and powerful abundance. In the most beautiful of ways, I give thanks, graces, glory, and honor to the creator of all worlds, of all things. Thank you for this day. Thank you for all of you. Wish you nothing but love and light, peace, powerful blessings, and love. Thank you again for tuning in. Peace and love. Talk to you soon. Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.